Hi guys, how are we doing? I'm down at the van of course. I'm here because I'm going to do a few bits and pieces. I was supposed to be elsewhere today but that's been cancelled so it's given me a few hours that I can start getting some of the the, the snags done on this van uh, ready for when we go travelling on the 6th of January. One of the ideas I had, or one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the rear drop down step. I have no need for this step now. So it's a, it's a very good step. I'm keeping it on the side, but at the back here, someone did suggest taking the whole lot out, but it's quite a bit of work. I mean, a major bit of work, then I have to. I have to get something fabricated to fill that area. They suggested sticking my water supply there. Let's have a little think about this, eh? Do you know what? It literally, it's only a bolt. Looks like about 17 mil. access the back of the van at all. And of course the bloody socket won't fit. Did I say 17? Oh, I was bang on. 17. Tell you what, I've got to find some work gloves. That's a bit better. I've got to tell you, touching this cold metal, half cold on the hands. So, oh, I think that's going to snap. absolutely Baltic out here, it's freezing, brilliant sunshine when you stood still. Start doing a little bit of work. And I'm sweating. Get a bigger bar on. indoors to get this scaffold bar <laughs> and it snapped first go it snapped and now it's so the bolt has actually sheared sheared itself off so right I've been smashing away at this trying for the last hour hour and a half basically it's very simple, a bolt goes through this, through the step here, and you get a spanner on this side underneath, on this side, they've obviously fitted the step, and then underneath on the chassis, some other stuff's been welded on, so you really cut, you just cannot get a spanner on it, a socket, anything. 
I've managed to get a couple of turns and I've been twisting, twisting and I'm going to get my grinder in there and I'll be able to just cut that bolt. The only problem is all my tools are elsewhere at the moment and I won't be getting them back until the end of tomorrow. Right, the best I can do at the moment is I've found some of my reciprocating saw metal blades. Uh, I might be here. <laughs> I might be here a while, so we we'll give it a go. Tell you what, they're done halfway, son. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna go and put it in the shed or behind the shed just in case I ever do want it for whatever reason, want to replace it or whatever. All right, guys, so I've removed the step. That was hard graft, I'm telling you. Just to remove two bolts, it took me hour and a half, hour and 45 roughly. But anyway, next job I want to do is I want to fit the overhead lockers. Sorry, the overhead locker doors. But before I fit them, I need to cover them and put the trim on them. Just like these two, they've got the same covering that I've used to actually cover the lockers, but I've got the orange trim around them, which you would have seen me apply and fit in previous videos. I've got all the cupboard doors all cut, all cut exactly to size. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight doors that I've got to fit. All the routing has been done. So they've all been routed around the edge, ready for the orange trim, but it keeps absolutely chucking it down with rain. Again, for those of you that have seen my build videos, You'll know that I set up a workbench in like the garden area, but the rain at the moment, it keeps stopping and starting. When it starts, it's absolutely chucking it down, but the wind as well, it's swirling, it's horrible, it's miserable, it's dank out there. So I can't do the doors at the moment. The other job I wanted to do was <clears throat> now in the previous videos last few videos leading up to now I've mentioned that I'm fitting the games console in a box that I'm making at the end of the bed here it's going to have a fan to extract all the hot air and you know I mean it's it's going to be well ventilated but I kept mentioning a PS5 PS5 that's the PlayStation 5 each time I've done a video and my wife saw it, Dina see it, she's like, why do you keep saying PS5? It's the Xbox X. <laughs> I don't know why. Trust me, getting older one of these things has been like hard graph. But anyway, so it's the Xbox, Xbox X, and that is being fitted at the end of the bed so this is the end of the bed. This is the bed subframe. This whole area is gonna be boxed off to about two inches below the mattress, and it's gonna have a liftable lid, okay, halved. So I can lift this half, lift that half. This half will be storage. This half will house 
the Xbox, like so, but I need to cut all the wood to do this. I, ha I have all the wood, but it all needs cutting, but it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. It's really annoying because I'm now finally back on to actually doing some work on the van. A couple of days ago, when I removed that step, it was cold, really cold. Yesterday was cold, but today now I've got all my tools back and I really want to get on to finishing the van off. Now I've got the miserable, miserable cold, damp weather. So I'm really limited what I can do. And it's unfortunately, I. Looking at the weather forecast, we've got rain for the next couple of days. So really, I'm going to have to get this video out and cut it short with what I've got at the moment, which is very little, just me removing a step. But I could have made that a lot longer. Trust me, there was a, there was almost a couple of hours of footage there. I just left the camera rolling while I was, while I was uh, removing that step. But that's it. I'm stuck for things to do. The shelving in the cupboards, I can't fit that because, again, I need to cut wood. I'm not, I'm not standing outside in the rain doing it. I don't want to start getting sheets of wood out and then it starts chucking it down with rain again. So, sorry guys, I'm pretty much limited to what I can do. So, yeah, that's the plans. At the end of the bed, I'm going to make that box. We're going to fit the Xbox at the end. And no, it won't be getting left in the van when it's just sitting here doing nothing. However, the van is quite secure, apart from the van's own security. As I previously mentioned, I've also got two of these alarm sensors that are on the house alarm. I've got those in the back of the van here in the habitation area and I've got one up front in the cab. You can see that sitting on the dashboard right there. That is the one that's protecting the cab area. Then I have this one which literally just sits on the seat so if the side doors open the house alarm is going to go off and then the other one is under the bed at the back so if the back door is opened the house alarm is going off if you open any of the doors to to the cab area the alarm is going to go off uh, it's going to be bloody noisy as well but like i say i won't be leaving the xbox in the van i've had it for a few weeks now and only in the last couple of days have I actually set it up and started playing the game. I told you I'm not a big gamer, or I'm not a gamer. I've been playing Call of Duty Vanguard and it's been, it's been pretty good. I've had, I've had a whole weekend of, of the sofa pulled right in front of the TV. Dina's just been chilling out, catching up on some of her stuff. I've been literally six feet away from the TV. It's been absolutely... <laughs> I've been acting like a kid, basically, but thoroughly enjoying it. But anyway, that's all I can really show you with regards to bits and pieces that I can do on the van. It's bits and pieces I need to do underneath the van, but I don't want to be crawling, crawling around underneath for the same reasons I don't want to be trying to cut wood because of the bloody weather, which is... Uh... Unfortunately, the size of the vehicle, I'm very limited where I can put this to work on it. I'd love a, an old barn, you know, that I could have had access to electricity possibly, and that would be lovely to have put this and, and been like in some sort of cover and out of the elements, but I don't have those luxuries, I'm afraid. So we've got to do what we've got to do. And right at the moment, all I can do is pack up, go indoors, finish off editing this last bit of video and upload it that's all i can do so sorry about that guys um stay tuned for the next part of the build which will be the cupboard doors the building this and and other bits and pieces to get this done by the 6th of december looking at the way things are going at the moment we have no idea whether our travel plans are going to be i don't know whatever happens we're going traveling when you know we're going traveling but it's like you know are we going to be allowed to go to scotland we'll see but anyway guys thanks for watching and um we'll catch up with you in the next video cheers